Welcome everyone. We're going to talk about how to make some animations in your Python Pygame activity here. So I want to show you a few things I did first and then we're going to recreate something. So the first thing I did, and it was kind of by request, some students were like, how do I kind of make things worth? How do I think make things kind of rotate? And I was like, I don't know. Let's play around with ideas. So here's the code here. I don't have a video of me walking through it, but what this code does, and then I'll kind of, I'll, I'll run in and I'll explain. So it actually just rotates a semicircle. You're like, what? How do you do this? Now the weird thing is you can't ro just rotate shapes in Python. You, so the way I, I have to do this is basically just delete and redraw a bunch of times. But, so the one thing I learned like, oh, I try to do that with one shape, delete and redraw, delete, redraw. But there's the only way to delete is to delete everything on a turtle. You can't just like delete part of a turtle or part of what it's drawn. I guess you could probably like write over it in white to make that work. But that's kind of weird still. So what we did instead is the way this kind of simulates the, this, the rotation is two turtles. So it actually is drawing like two half circles, like one after the other. They kind of leapfrog. You can see it kind of looks a little weird. And then just deletes the previous one. So it's like two are leapfrogging over each other to kind of simulate that. So how do I do this? I have SP1, SP2. Made them, I'm going to make them teal because we we're looking to make it. Uh, just made a circle. Okay, this one at the beginning, this is garbage. This was like early on we were like teaching how to make semicircles. In fact, I don't even need this. Boom, deleting. And... I don't think I need, oh, I might need this. No, I don't even need that. Uh, and I want to hide, I want to change the speed to that. Wait, maybe I'll leave those in. Undo that. We don't need any of that. That's just garbage from before. So it repeats 10 times. I have SP1. Speed zero is the fastest. So if you look up Python commands and I put a list in here, the reference of everything you can do in Turtle, you go down to speed. Speed the fastest is a zero. It's actually, if a number is greater than 10 or smaller than 0.5, it goes to zero. So normal speed is six. You want to slow down. The slowest you can go is one. And like, so faster than six, six is normal. Faster than six will go a little faster. Less than six will go a little slower. But if you're 10 and above or bigger, greater than 10, it just maxes out. Another way of just doing that is just write zero. So there you go. I think your common... Numbers are going to be zero for the fastest and one for the slowest. So good to know. And so I want to make this happen fast because I want to redraw fast and then hide the turtle because I don't want to see that. So I have this while loop that keeps repeating 100 times. I can make this repeat forever. But the count is very important because I use the count variable to change the heading. So we, we set to go to right here. Why? I don't know. And then we set the heading. So circles are kind of weird. So when you're drawing a circle, like the default position starts, the turtle starts going to the right. And that means as it draws, it's going to start going like this. Going, and it goes counterclockwise to draw a circle. So if you change your heading, oh, I just broke that rubber band. Heat braces. So if you change your heading, go straight up like 90 degrees then your circle's actually gonna start this way if you say do draw a circle. It's not gonna start from the bottom. So it, it all depends on your heading. So what I have it do is I have it start at 90 and then it's adding a little bit more to this heading every time. So that's why this half circle starts off starting at 90 degrees. So it should start off like a top heavy thing and then it rotates, oh. I deleted too much pen color. Color. Teal. I did that. Oh. Two. And that SP. Okay. I shouldn't. Why would I just randomly delete things? Don't do that in Python, folks. Comment out. 
So that's why it starts there. And every time it counts, it increases this degree by five. That's what gets my, and it adds, adds one to count. I multiplied it by five to make it move faster. If I made it like eight, you would see it rotate faster, but it probably is going to look kind of chunky. Right? Uh, that, that looks awful. Oh, and plus these aren't even. Oh, geez. It's even worse. <laughs> It'd be better to make that a variable that I can adjust at one spot. Now, the, the thing I did to rotate between the two, I went back and used modulo. And so like if the modulo two was equal to one, so basically it's going to rotate between one and zero. Okay, I'm going to pause some of this. All right, sidetrack. Uh, there you go. That's how to rotate with circles. So another thing I had to do Someone was asking, how do I do some kind of walking animation? Or how do you like animate this a little bit with two different slides? So kind of like how I'm doing this, I'm like, what if you want to like simulate walking or something? Or just, as, as long as you have different frames, like how do you draw different frames? That's basically what we're doing here. Now, I kind of threw this together. So watch what happens. Sorry, I didn't record a video the whole process that might have been neat so notice two frames back and forth not really walking but i was just demonstrating you could have two frames go so i have sp1 and 2 again those are two different turtles because again you have to use like a, this clear command to delete the old one and then draw the new one so a few things going on here i hid the turtle because i don't want to see it i move these into their positions and set their heading I set that heading to make it a triangle because we ended up with the triangle as we worked on this. This while loop repeats 100 times. And I use modulo again. So modulo is a way to do extra frames, which is kind of neat. So like you just modulo the count to switch between frames. What's neat if I want to add like a third frame, I could put an LF in here and go count modulo three. So you change the modulo stand set of two. Then rotating between two. We just do like a modulo three. And then we can have different, so basically simulate different states. So what it does is it'll clear one triangle and then it does a fill, creates a circle triangle thing, ends the fill. And then, so it clears it for the second one, then writes the first one. This one clears the first one, writes the second one. And both these speeds are at zero to be as fast as possible, right? Now, I also use another command in here because like you want to pause in between. And that's the problem. Like you don't, I mean, you need time to pause so you see them. And this is not, we haven't learned yet. Maybe we learn this in the next part. It's how to use time. So you want to do an import time at the start. And then you can do this time dot sleep. And this will sleep for the, this is an, a time in seconds. So 0.2 will do two tenths of a second. Why I want it to sleep longer. I can change these to 0.5. So it's not so fast flipping. So half a second on each one. So this basically pauses the code right there. Time.sleep and import time. That's all I added. So that's a good way if you want to try to animate things because you need to tick. There's other ways to do this too, basically on the clock of the, using the clock and some, some other things. I think that's an easy way of doing it. You're just pausing the program. So there you go. So I have this loop that goes, and if else, I'm doing two different scenes. So if you needed to animate, you can kind of use this template, folks. This is a setup. You want to set up your, you're going to have to do a different turtle for each sprite, I think. I guess I could do this with one. I could have done with this with one. And like you delete it and then draw the other. Delete it, then draw the other. So I didn't need two turtles but I kind of feel it's cleaner if there's two turtles, especially like if I got to a point where I wanted to have multiple frames on at the same time. I, yeah, I guess I could have done this with one turtle. You just clear it and then redraw it really quick. And I think that's the best way. There's no way to just like, Oh, I want to take this part and delete it and like, or move it over or transform it. Nothing that I saw in the turtle graphics. Maybe we will learn about in the next lessons. But that's a way to animate styles. So going back and forth, you can make this anything you want to be. You want to simulate walking or rotating objects.
All right. Uh, so now there was a question. Well, let's take what I've learned here and learned in semicircles. Let's just make a new one. And I am going to make it rotate a circle. So let's start a new one. Pi game. Rotate a circle. Oh, I'm not going to pay for this. I'm a teacher, not a millionaire. All right, so I'm going to take the circle one. Actually, what do I want to start with? That's my base. And I take the circles. Who cares? I'm only going to need one circle. I'm not going to rotate. So probably going to regret deleting this. I didn't need to delete this. Why did I do this? So every time I want it to rotate. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this. It's going to do. I want it to go somewhere. And let's say it goes to this spot. Okay, I'm going to delete all the others. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And what I want it to do is I'm going to make it draw a circle. And then I'm going to make it keep rotating. Because I'm going to need that for my stuff anyways, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm going to need to rotate my knobs for my project. I'm behind on that. Oh, well. How do I do this? Let's go. Ah, so... I don't think I'm going to need this if and else thing. I'm actually going to delete all this. That's just, that just uh, makes it harder. And I'm probably going to be using this set heading in a way. I'm probably not going to do times eight. Do times five. So I want to do SP. I want to draw a circle. I, when I draw the circle every time, I'll make the pen color bigger. Pen size. SP dot pen size. Make it five. I'm going to draw a circle a radius of 50, 50 radius, but I'm not going to make it do 360 degrees. I want to put a little notch in it, so I'm going to make it do uh, 330 degrees. So you see a notch. And what I'm going to make it do, and, and then I'm going to put it, I want to put a pause in here. So I'm going to take this walking animation. I got to do this. So we're going to import time. I'm going to put a pause, time.sleep. So watch this. I'm going to put time.sleep half a second. And every time I do this, we're going to do, we're going to clear it. So watch what happens. Oh. Why does that look so ugly? Why does it just do that? Oh, because it's doing this go to. SB dot. Pen up our PU. Speed dot PD. Pen down. Watch what it does. It's rotate, right? But the weird thing is it's rotating on this part. What if I just wanted to rotate in a circle? I'm going to have to do some trigonometry. And you know what? I'd love to do some trigonometry right now. But it's lunchtime. I'm going to do this, though. So here's the trig. I'm going to draw it up here. If you guys in Zoom want to dip, go ahead. Let's pretend I have a circle. And I have a dot on the circle. And I want to rotate it. I don't want to start here every time. And rotate. I want it to. I want to start it at different spots, but I'm going to need to change the heading at the same time. So it's weird because, like, if I say, oh, just move it up to here. But the heading's still 90 degrees. It's still going to do something weird. But let's, let's, let's solve this one problem at a time. I wanted to change where it goes every time. I can't just say 50, negative 100. I'm going to have to use trig. So if I drew a bigger circle, the trig of where you want to go is going to be an offset account. 
This is where you initially start. And you want to go to this position right here. The coordinates of that position are going to be... Oh, I probably have to use trig functions too. We're going to have to use trig functions like sines and cosines, folks. And I don't know what to do right away. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to pause. I'm going to have to stop. We'll do another video. There you go.